Are you one of those people that you have this obsession or addiction or fanaticism or habit or custom of eating certain food or drink? Well, I know that you know that I know that you probably do. Maybe you don't wake up with a chip bag in your bed, but maybe you eat them and start them, eat them and can't finish them. I don't know, you tell us, because today on The Bro Show, John and I, our goal is to delete your interest, trigger, desire, habit, custom, gotta have it when I see it, buy double on sale, eat it till it's gone and don't share it with anybody, special treat or drink. Let us know in the chat today. We're gonna to help as many people as we can. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is the Emotion Code Bro Show. I am Michael Loge, Certified Emotion Code Practitioner. I'm here every Saturday with John, hosting here on the Emotion Code Bro Show. Good morning, John. Good morning, yes. Uh, my name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code and Body Code Practitioner, helping people all over the world with uh, lots of different aches, pains, and this one is, yeah, food, drink, cravings, the need, the want, the desire, can't pass it up when it's on sale. So. That's right, and it could be a drink, and, 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 and here's what we won't be able to help you with, sugar, okay? So just real briefly, we need to have a specific food item, Diet Coke or Coke or Pepsi or coffee or cookies or cake or chips or jujubes or licorice. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my list. John, what else are we helping people with? Just anything specific, you let us know in the chat. And we are going to do it today on your behalf because that's, guess what? That's what we do. We are the guys that will delete an old emotion that's causing you to want it, crave it, got to have it when you see it, eat them double, not share them with anybody and wake up with the empty bag in your bed. It's because of an emotion. Guess what? Today, we are going to use the talent of an emotion code practitioner. We are going to seek and find that emotion that's causing the problem. And John, show it when we say it. After we find it, we're going to do what to it? Well, we're going to, we're going to delete it. We're going to clear it. We're going to delete it's it. It's one of these. It's a little magnet. Magnet. Just a magnet. The magnet's strong. It's going to dissolve it. And you'll say, you know what, Michael, I've tried everything. You know what? No willpower required. There'll be no will at all. There'll be no will. There'll be no want. There'll be no craving. There'll be no memory. There'll be no, oh, I can't stand it. I, I'm missing it. There'll be no missing it. There'll be no sadness or sorrow. There'll be no jealousy when someone else has it. There'll be no resentment to me for deleting it. There'll be no craving or memory. You don't believe me? So here's the criteria to play in our sandbox today. We want to delete. Well, our goal is significantly reduce it. Well, our goal is to delete it, but we'll be satisfied if we significantly reduce it. Yeah. And we need you to come back next week. Come back next Saturday and say, holy balls, my hawk and cheesy craving went from a 10 to a 2. We might even give you a 2 now next week. So criteria, let us know what the food or drink item is. Let us know the severity, John, what does that mean? Severity scale of one to 10. So 10 being the most severe. So, you know, those cheesies you have every night for the last, you know, 395 days. Or those, or those two lattes from seven bucks every day. Every day. Every day. Every day, yeah. Or how about pumpkin spice anything? Hey, listen, there's nothing that we haven't deleted. So what's yours? Let us know the food item or drink item, the severity of it, and um, that you're going to join us next week and give us an update. We'd love to do that. First, John, it's time to say good morning to our friends all over the world. Who's here? Natasha Paula Samuels joining us again. Hey, Natasha. She's from the UK. From the we UK. Have a friend from Washington. Yeah, Jennifer Towner's joining us. Jennifer's back. Good morning. What's up, Emotion Code Bros? We have our 1 a.m. in Mumbai, India, Zahar watching. Good morning to you. Looking oh. forward to watch the live show every week. That's right. Hey, and a Canadian West Coaster like me and you, Pramelia, happy to be watching from sunny Parksville. Hey, yes. Three days on the West Coast here. Okay, so real quickly, we are on item uh, on show 199. So I don't know, Captain Obvious, what does that mean? There's 198 other episodes. We've been here every Saturday for 198 weeks, 99 weeks, including today, describing the work of Dr. Bradley Nelson, uh, author of The Emotion Code, 
founder and creator of the chart. John and I are both certified. We have the ability to help you with a lot of things. Just scan back everything from chronic pain to uh, you know challenges with your thinking and progress. Goes on and on and on. We both have menus. Matter of fact, John, today we're going to be doing real quick sessions on a food elimination. But I want uh, not elimination, food deletion rather. I want uh, I want you to tell just uh, quickly go to your menu planner. Just let people know what are five other things that we've been you can be helping people with in addition to what they're going to see today. And I'm going to go to the chat and look for some volunteers. So John, five things off your chart. Other things that we've been helping people with. Other things like physical discomfort, help people with like teeth grinding, jaw clenching, you know, oh, like yeah. headaches, back pain, knee pain, emotional thing like anxiousness, fears, phobias, sadness, grief, anxiety anger. about everything and anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relationship wise, like feeling unworthy to receive love, negative family relationships, conflict there, or like hung up from you know past relationships, business side of things, dry eyes, customers, clients, not getting any sort of yeah. any repeat. Not getting any referrals, not getting paid what you're worth, Take money stealing. Off, can't raise your prices. The list is yeah. resistance yeah. to exercise. So we're, we're we're doing food here, but a nice little right. you know side area with this that goes you know well hand in hand. I'm trying to say is like resistance to exercise, resistance to eating veggies, drinking water, that kind of thing. It's hydrated, yeah, lots of great stuff. We've done it all here on the Bro Show today, John. We are looking for some volunteers. Let's uh, let's check with some of our friends here. Uh, we have uh, Namkashi from South Africa uh, joining us again today. So thanks for saying hello. And mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, we have an update from Zahar. The emotion code healing for the stiffness of the thumb pain has been deleted completely. She was the star of the thumb show. <laughs> right, yeah. For the last like, three, four Chris weeks. And, um, uh, fingers, wrists, and what else was it? Show, and it ended up being the thumb show. We helped uh, Zahar. So, Holly Peters is saying good morning from Wisconsin. Good stuff. So, again, John and I are here today. We want to demo for you. Uh, I find it challenging that there's not a volunteer that can't think of something that you'd like to get rid of. Imagine deleting a food item that. You know, you're doing well and you go to it, or there's a drink that you have, like any kind of Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or, or any kind of soda at all. Well, you know, I don't need to tell you that it's probably not the best thing for you. I mean, I'm not drinking it, okay? Yeah. I, I don't need it through emotion. Yeah, no, I think the last time we did this, I worked with uh, Caroline and she had the, that sparkling water. I forget what it's called. Uh, and it was like every day she had she like like that, two or three yeah. every day, right? And, it, you know, it, it's. Not that it's like bad for you, but it just, you know, it's not cheap, right? If you're, you know, continually buying it just every every time you're at the grocery store, right? And it's just water, just drink water. Like, you know, no judgment mm -hmm. about what people want to get rid of, but they would deem it's like, you know what? I should be just happy with water. I shouldn't have to put it in a can and put flavoring in it. And right. I mean, yeah. the woman that put flavored in her water, like it's paying like three ninety nine for a little squirt bottle of flavor. Yeah. We're off that. Now she's on now she's on water. <laughs> yeah, right. The other thing too that people notice or feedback is that when if they do try it or do have it, like the chips or whatever, it tastes different. Like it, it doesn't have that appeal, whatever that draw was before. You know, it tastes like 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 ashes or something. Sylvia Bellini say it tastes like, you know, an ashtray kind of a thing. So that's uh, really, really unique and it's uh, you know, it's pretty wild how motion code works with us yeah. yeah well look who came up to the plate carol chocolate chip carol chocolate chips are very carol, carol chocolate chips just chocolate and chips right out of the bag she just means like the, probably the bag of that so I have to have some every time yeah so john here's what i'm going to do i'm going to work with carol today walk through the process you can uh find a volunteer and then while you're working with people i'm going to be behind the scenes working with other volunteers so today our goal is to demonstrate um, uh, how we can uncover for you the old unprocessed emotion that's causing the problem, how we can delete it on your behalf, and all of it, of course, is thanks to the P word. John, what is it? Proxy. So as a practitioner, we act as a proxy on your behalf. That's right. That's We're going to find it for your behalf. We're going to search for it, and then we're going to delete it. Drink lots of water. 
Right. Now, if, if Carol and I were on the phone, I'd be able to ask her lots of questions about this. So I'm going to make lots of presuppositions, which means I want to assume a lot of stuff in my sentence, and it might not apply to her, but I might as well include it in the question. Stir it up. You will hear the length of my question, and it's one question, and it's a yes or no answer. So it's a long one, too. So the first thing, uh, I got a magnet in my hand. Of course, the magnet is going to delete the emotion that's causing it. I'm using muscle testing right here. Uh, if you want to learn this technique, uh, I have a video on it. Somebody uh, put it in the chat for me. Maybe Carol Morris can do that. Um, MichaelLoger.com forward slash muscle testing to learn how to do this. I'm going to keep my shoulders here. I'm just muscle testing right now. These are all no's. And my question is, Am I connected to Carol Morris? It's like my Wi-Fi is looking for hers. There. Am I Carol Smith? No. Am I Michael Morris? No. Am I Carol Morris? Yes. You know, and now I'm going to assume her voice just to make it easy. And I'm going to find as many possibilities that this might, and they might not all apply to her, but again, I'm not interviewing her right now. So and I was telling Michael about chocolate chips, you know, in the bag or in a bowl in a bag, in a bowl, in a cup, in a fancy dish, in a non-fancy dish at the bottom of my purse, when they're on sale, when it's given to me, when it comes in it, on it, beside it, any holiday, any season with anybody, on sale, off sale, in bulk, in a candy, beside a candy, when it's offered, when I see it, or when I smell it. How many trapped emotions cause me to want, crave, eat any chocolate chips? The last, well first, have I had them a hundred times in my life? Yes. Have I had them a thousand times in my life? Have I had them one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight? I've had them over 10,000. 10,000 mm -hmm. chips with 10,000 times. I've had 10,000 chips. I'm not judging. You've had 10,000 chips. How many trapped, that's chocolate chips. How many trapped emotions always contributed to me having these chocolate chips? Under five? Yep. Under four? Yep. Under three? No, three of them. Okay. There's three emotions. Are they all mine? Yes. Okay. So the first one's pride, like hurt pride. Can I just release that? Yes. Deleting pride. And what's the next emotion? I'm scanning this list with my fingers. Oh, it's shame. Is this my shame? Deleting shame. What's the next one? It's shock. Is it mine? Deleting shock. So before today's session, what was the severity of this? daily average level of habit or custom or trigger or desire or um, addiction to any kind of chocolate chips anytime, anywhere, any season with anybody. Before today, the daily average trigger and um, addiction was one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Would it be okay if I never had a chocolate chip again? It would be okay. Was that okay before today? No. Would it be safe if I never had a chocolate chip again? Yes. Was that safe before today? And am I worthy of having that decision? Yes. And do I believe that I could never have a chocolate chip again? Did I believe that before today? No. Anything else I need to ask? No. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. I'm just going to disconnect from Carol. Well done. There we go. So I'm just going to summarize what you saw. You know, uh, John and I, on your behalf, want to be your proxy. That means we're going to do it for you. Why? So you don't have to figure it out and take the training, be a practitioner. We can do it for you. We're going to tap into your subconscious mind, just like if we got into your computer, scan using muscle testings like you heard me do, find the emotions, delete them. And now, Carol Morris, you can hold your head up high and go down the chocolate chip aisle and not even know they're there. Of course, next week you're going to come back and tell us that. And it's okay if you have a chocolate chip. Hashtag you won't like it. But follow the urge and do it. But we're looking for significant reductions, and hopefully you report to us next week. So thanks to Carol. Thanks. John, tell me uh, what you're going to work on. Who are you going to work yeah, on? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to work with Shirley Thornton. She is. So she's a couple comments. Diabetic, trying to stay off medication, problem with carb cravings and diet Pepsi. And another comment, carb craving, 8 out of 10, diet Pepsi, 10 out of 10. So diet Pepsi is perfect, 10 out of 10. I'm going to do that. That's right. Carb, Good choice. Yeah. Carb is um, too broad. Uh, so I'm going to connect up to Shirley here. Shirley is joining us from YouTube here. And so just setting the attention, tune in, connect up Shirley, Shirley Thornton. Surely, 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 connect as a proxy. So I'm muscle testing with my fingers here. 
Get a good connection, tune in, connect up. Proxy, proxy, proxy. So I do have a good connection. Proxy, just, just making sure that it's established that and I'm just honing in, tuning in to her right now. Yes. Okay. So we've got Diet Pepsi. So what's the severity of this want, need, desire, must have Diet Pepsi? Is it a 10? Nine or less? No. So my fingers are agreeing with, with her. It's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. So is there a trapped emotion I can identify and clear to reduce and eliminate the want, the need, the desire, the must have Diet Pepsi? There is a trapped emotion. Okay. Is there a trapped emotion in column A? Yeah. Column B? No. So I've got the chart right here in front of me. A odd. It's A even. So is it A2? Yeah. Four, no, six, no, just checking here. First one, second one. Yeah, third one, no, fourth. So the first emotion coming up is despair. Do we need to know more? Don't need to know anything else. Release this now. I just love how it's kind of like, it's a, a nonverbal thing, right? Like we, we don't need to, you know, figure it out, right? You just clear it, clear the- Or lay on a couch and talk about it. No, clear, clear, it's it's there. clear that. That's my style. That's why I got into it. I just um Okay. Uh Shirley Thornton, is there another trapped emotion? Identifying clear to reduce and eliminate this want, need, desire, must have diet Pepsi. Yeah. Okay, be a odd. So we're down into A6. So there's overwhelm. Yeah. It's really so overwhelm. Release that. Release that. It's that released. Yeah. Again, the magnet is leading the emotion. John's connected to her, doesn't want to take it on. The intention deletes it. It's just a little refrigerator magnet. This one's gotten Hawaii. Okay, another trapped emotion. Identify and clear to reduce, eliminate this want, need, desire, must have diet Pepsi, surely. Yeah, call them A, so be odd. Four or six, so it's in B4. So is it, it's indecisiveness? Yeah. Release indecisiveness. Release, release, release. Clear that. It's cleared. Yeah. Okay, another trapped emotion. Four, six. So it's depression. Clear depression. Clear depression. That's cleared. Yeah. Is there another trapped emotion? Identifying clear to reduce, eliminate this want, need, desire, must have diet Pepsi. No, severity of this want, need, desire, must have diet Pepsi, five or a higher, no. Two, one, no, zero, yeah. Okay, I got a zero. We'll see, yeah, come back next good. week, surely, let yeah. us know, we'll leave it there for now. Now, if we had our friend, remember we, we nicknamed her Elaine Diet Coke? You know, yeah. she's about two and a half years now. Yeah, that was an early episode, that was like, one of our first five episodes, I think. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, good. Uh, we want our friends to come back next week. A couple more comments in the room. Before we do that, really quickly, a couple things I want to show you. Uh, on Friday night, I did um, a really, even though I do say so myself, and I can say that with a lot of confidence, I did a really good law of attraction training. It ended up being about 45 minutes, how to reset your vibe. I'm going to show you the screen of it, the link to this a uh, blog entry we were both there, and it was one of those moments. It was one of those moments. You have to see it. It comes with the worksheet. I promise you, you'll clearly understand way more about the law of attraction after watching that. Now, if that's not enough, you're thinking, wow, I'd love to spend five hours with Michael O'Shea. Well, hashtag yes, you can. Next Wednesday, I'm starting my five-week book club and workshop. It comes with a 20-page workbook. And you'll meet with me once a week in a private Zoom call. It'll be uploaded to my online school. You can watch it forever and uh, start practicing it with you, your family, friends, and workmates. The link for that went there. Uh, one more thing. Good. Oh, I've got a lot showing up here. It looks like I've gone. <laughs> I don't want I'm hiding this one. I'm showing John. Um, John's link hey. will go inside the chat. That's how to check more out about John. And, uh, yeah, I'm at aliveandpeer.com, by Michael at michaelosia.com, for those listening on the podcast. That's right. Okay, well, that was a good show, John. We did it. We stimulated people to 
volunteers. So that was a good thing. Again, today we're on episode 199. We're working on a series for next month, so stay tuned. We're going to know what that is uh, for you next week. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. So Kareem sent them that we, uh, we love as well. Uh, one of the, my favorite things about emotion code and body code is we don't need the client's story. Because some people, well, first, some people are so used to telling the story. What a fresh of breath air when they don't have to tell it. Also, sometimes yeah. people don't want to tell the story. And so with my clients, I just say, you know, uh, call it, you know, let's just call it um, event one or event two. And and they're like, really? I said, yeah, that's what we're just going to call it that. Yeah. And a lot of time you don't know, like, like you, you just don't know what happened or what, what the situation was like something from when you're like, you know, before the age of 20, like, I mean, there's like just so much that happens, you know, day to day, year to year. Mm -hmm. And who knows, you know, what emotion, what event, what trauma is linked up to what symptom, like you just, it's just really hard to connect that like consciously. So that's, yeah, another beauty of this is we're we're asking the subconscious, the brilliant subconscious, you know, what it is specifically, just so we don't have to guess. Yeah. Or have the conversation. Or have her talk about it. Yeah. Uh, John and I send out an email every Friday and about 55 minutes before the show so you can get your coffee or your latte ready to hang out with us. We'll tell you what the subject is, but a bonus to that email is upcoming free classes and courses that I'm doing for practitioners and other events. So you could subscribe, michaelogier.com, Emotion Code Bros. We would love to have you. Uh, a couple more comments here, John, if you want to take this one. Yeah, Kareem Beach Murray saying, I had Michael remove Reese peanut butter cups. I used to argue with myself in the grocery checkout about buying them. Now no desire to eat them at all. Love these guys. Well, I had to get rid of peanut butter, never mind the cups. Just eat it it would be peanut butter blank, and I would want it, or blank peanut butter, or peanut blank butter. Any of those words and any combination are my favorite things ever. Yeah, it is delicious. Peanut butter cookies. Nice. Yeah. Well, John, we reached our goal today, and our goal was to uh, let people know that we can do it on their behalf by being their proxy. Uh, when you book a session, um, you saw that that's kind of a quickie, so uh, hire us for multiple things, but that's kind of like a little toss in there at the end. Say, oh, by the way, can you get rid of my Diet Coke? And uh, we said, well, we will give you an emotional code session. On yeah, that. it's like the fortune cookie, right? Yeah, it's like here's a little giveaway at the very end. And not to minimize that it's uh, a really short session, but wait till you hear the impact next week from our two friends that we helped today. So thanks, everybody. If YouTube, Facebook, people listen to it on the podcast, we will see you next week here live on the Emotion Code Bros. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week. See you later.